Okay, that's really impressive. Hi, my spooky darlings. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. I'm Kelly, the paranormal housewife. Today's video is kind of a day in the life of, um, especially with all the moving stuff going on. I'm heading into Muhammad to go pick up some boxes so I can start boxing up some of the stuff we have around here that we won't be needing for the next few months and going through and figuring out what we don't even need to take with us to California. I'm also going to be running into town to get stuff to make a gift for our new neighbor. Our neighbor finally moved in next door and I can't wait to meet her. I do know a little bit about her from the landlord and from the FedEx packages that keep popping up in our center because FedEx doesn't seem to realize this is apartment A and apartment B is over there. But either way, I can't wait to meet her. Hopefully she'll be in this evening so I can drop off her present for her. The present that I'm putting together is something that my family has always done for friends and family when they move into a new place. I don't know if it's a southern thing or just a family thing, but it meant a lot to me when my parents did it to me when I moved into my first apartment and now I try and do it to others whenever I can. So. We'll go get the stuff for that and I'll explain a little bit more about it because it does have special meanings to whatever goes into the present. So come join me on the ride. Today should be fun or at least interesting. Alright, so I just got done. Let me take this off. <laughs> That's better. Oh. Alright, so I just got done at Schnooks. I filmed what I could, but it was pretty crowded and kind of awkward to film in there. So I will go through once I get home and explain the meaning of each of these items. I have them here in my front seat along with some extra groceries that I forgot to get yesterday while I was shopping at a different Schnucks. So I need to make one more stop before we go home. I want to go to either CVS or Walgreens and see if there's like a basket or something that I can use to put everything in. Otherwise I'll just be reusing a basket from the house. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that real quick and then we'll head home. Alright, so I just made it back to the house and I'm going to get together everything and put it in her basket and kind of go over what the meanings are for each of the items. This is the basket I ended up picking up from Walgreens. Thank goodness it is Easter or I don't know what I would be doing for a basket because I really don't want to drive 30 minutes into town to go to Target or Home Goods, but this is what Walgreens had. It's cute. It matches the flowers that we picked up at Schnucks and also matches the card as well. So, hey. The first thing going into the basket is going to be this loaf of bread. It's a rosemary olive oil brown loaf. For this, it's 
basically any kind of bread. Um, but I like going for these more bakery style ones. Just I think it gives it a nicer touch. The bread is so her home will never know hunger. The next in the basket will be salt to add a little bit of spice to her life. And this is a nice bottle of wine. I got the Stella Rosa Stella Peach. Personally, I haven't tried this yet, but I have heard from friends that you can't go wrong with Stella Rosa, so that's why I picked it up. The wine signifies having laughter flowing in your home. So that goes into the bucket as well. Need to rearrange some of these things. Our basket's already looking pretty full and I still have a few things that I need to put in. Oops. Maybe I should have gotten that other basket I was looking at. These next things that are going in, this is just my personal touch. Um, I know moving into a new place, if you want a sage, sometimes you don't always have your sage on hand or you forget to buy it. Well, I know I forget to buy it. So including a bundle of white sage and two pieces of Palo Santo. This is to remove any energies in the house so she can start fresh, start anew. God knows there was a lot of drama over there before she moved in, so hopefully this will clear the air. And the Palo Santo will help bring goodness and light into the house. So she can burn both of these. And I have a cute little bag to keep them in. And then, of course, we have the flowers we picked out. Let's see if I can. These I just thought were really pretty, and they're actually a really nice match for the basket and for the card that I picked out. Now, this card is blank, so I can write the meanings of everything in the card in case she wants to know them for future reference or anything like that. Um, but I'm gonna fill out the card real quick and put it in the basket and then everything will be all set to go. I'm probably gonna take it over there this evening before I go bowling with my friend Matthew. Hopefully she's home then. Uh, I know she's not home right now, um, so. I'm gonna fill out the card real quick. And once again, I'm getting packages that are meant for our next door neighbor. Had to chase down the FedEx guy because I am not about to carry that next door. Okay, well, I'm in the car. I'm getting ready to go meet Matthew to go bowling. I tried to go over to Rebecca's apartment and unfortunately she is not home to take over quite a few boxes because after FedEx left that ginormous box that you just saw being moved in the previous clip UPS came by and dropped off a few boxes as well so this is gonna be interesting getting her mail for the next few days because according to FedEx all of her directions say leave in sunroom and our side of the house is the only one with a sunroom I don't mind, I mean, it's not that far of a walk. It just, I was not about to lug that big old thing that looked like it was a couch um, to her side of the house. There's no way that I could do that. So thankfully he was able to move that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go bowling and I have her gifts in the car. So hopefully she'll be home when I get back. If not, I will try again tomorrow. 
I don't know how much I'm going to record at the bowling alley because A, we like to play the jukebox and none of that stuff is royalty free and two, Matthew's a little on the shy side so he probably doesn't want to be on camera. But either way, it's going to be a fun night. We do this every Wednesday. So, all right, well, heading out of here. The reason you don't see us wearing our masks is because on Wednesday nights, there's barely anybody there. Typically, it's just the employee like you see who's mopping right there and just the two of us bowling. So that's why we're not wearing a mask. Otherwise, we would be wearing a mask. Hi, Miss Biggie Dyings. I am now back at home. Me and Matthew ended up playing four games. I ended up winning three, which has only happened ever once in the past year and a half that we've been playing, so that was awesome. Um, and I got some of the highest scores I've gotten. Um, one that I showed y'all was 120, another one was 110, and then the fourth game was 96, so definitely was getting tired by the end, but it was a lot of fun. This is something me and him try and do almost every Wednesday or every other Wednesday if possible. We love going to this one bowling alley because on Wednesdays it's just dead. We can be in there. We don't have to worry about wearing masks because the employee is usually in the bar or in the back room, nowhere near us and we're the only ones there. So it's nice to just have a place where we can go and feel normal for once. Um, that's definitely gonna be one of the things that I miss when we move to San Diego. When I got home, I noticed that our neighbor's car was in her driveway. I went and knocked on her door, but nobody came to the door, so I just left the present there um, on her doorstep. I hope the animals don't get into it, but I'm gonna be in and out all day tomorrow. I don't have time to be watching and being scary, creepy neighbor stalking when she's home, so. We'll let it be at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into the kitchen, finish up dinner. Jay should be home, hopefully, in about two hours or so. Um, it's beginning of the month, so typically he works later nights at the beginning of the month. So, yeah, but today was a fun day. Uh, I feel like I got a lot accomplished, not nearly as much as I wanted to, but I did get a lot accomplished. So I am happy with that. But yeah, uh, if you like this day in the life of type video, let me know in the comments and give this video a like. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm tired and slightly brain dead, so words are not coming easily to me. 
If you are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe so that way you can be notified when I have new videos come up. Um, and hit the bell icon so that way YouTube definitely lets you know. I try and post every Tuesday and Friday. Um, just depends on life and the weather, which thankfully has been amazing lately. As you may have seen in today's video, um, it's bright and sunny today and actually kind of warm. So, but yeah, subscribe, like, comment, um, and I hope y'all have a great weekend. Bye.